Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Yes, people of God. Today, I want us to talk about the gates of demonic oppression. Gates of demonic oppression. What are things that give demon an access to someone's life? So, we know that demons, they manifest as sickness, they manifest as poverty, they manifest as crisis, they manifest as wickedness. So, this is the manifestation of demons. They manifest as death. One thing I can tell you, and I am, I am more convicted, not convinced. I'm more convicted that death is not coming from God. Death. Okari lifu li zwa umundi mwa. Waleti wa lifu. Na hana la se renya lana. Kenzere till death do us what? Apart. Hey. Death. Leki la shoko me la ro di 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 vau sacre ke hadi ke nyento. Di vau semo. Hare nyadisan. Hare until death do us apart. How na death mo? Because death comes from Satan. The manifestation of demon, it's poverty, sickness, disease, death, crisis, and the likes. So, but there are things that gives demons provision to operate in the believer's life. For you to access any house, let us be honest. For you to access any building or any place, there must be a gate or there must be a door that you use to access that place. So, which means even your life has doors. And some of these doors, some of these gates, are used by demons without your awareness to oppress you. Let us go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6. There is something that I want us to read there. Ephesians 6, we will take verse number, number 12. Let's go. It says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but yet against the principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand and in the evil day and having done all to stand our battle it's not against flesh and blood anytime you fight your brother your sister you are fighting a wrong battle The messages we've been getting from the past two weeks, they were very profound. That we are in the last days. What is the need of competition? Who can be saved? Huh? The life on its own for you to acquire your position in this life, it comes through a process called warfare. Say, neighbor, warfare is necessary. We do not 
fight against flesh and blood. People of God, let me tell you. If you don't know spiritual intelligence, you will continuously be hooked into an error and danger and away. There is what we call spiritual intelligence. There is angelic intelligence. There is also demonic intelligence. So, demonic intelligence, they operate through certain gates in your life. If you can shut this gate, you will disarm the demonic activities in your life. I say again, it's not enough to manifest on Sunday here. It's not enough to dream manifesting. But after manifesting and you are sure that the demon is out, are you aware that those guys are very persistent because the Bible says they come back to check if the house is empty. During the times when I began the ministry, we used to have eight hours dealing with satanism here. You remember? During those times, there was one of the girls this girl was told us intelligence of demons. He said, well, you know what? We are into this satanism. We are coming to church to be delivered. And after delivered, we are going back. Because the Bible was even telling us, the Bible says, if a demon comes out of me, and then it comes back, it comes back with more power. Just because I don't want to kill my mother or I don't want to kill my, my loved one. This is what I'm doing. And now if I'm coming to a pastor with a bigger demon and he can't deliver me, that pastor joins satanism. Unaware. So, realize how they were doing this thing. They were saying, what they do is to come. They get deliverance. They get fire. Yes, they said that fire is very painful. But I rather go through that pain rather than killing my mother for me to get promotion. Let me be delivered. After being delivered, I go and sin and sin. A more demon is coming after me. When I enter the kingdom of satanism, I am a higher rank. That's what they were saying. So, it's not enough to get deliverance to vomit, to do this. Not that it's not a problem. Yes, you vomit. But you, every Sunday, you are vomiting here. Every Sunday, you are a lion. Every Sunday, you are a tiger. And when we look at you now, we are seeing that tiger. I am my son. I am my daughter. You can't go to a higher dimension with God. So, there are gates we need to guard. In our lives that when these gates are guarded then the operation of demons will be disarmed so five gates of demonic oppression this is what I want to talk about because life it's spiritual life it's a warfare number one Gate number one, it's ignorance. Say neighbor, ignorance. Ignorance, it's a greatest tool demons are using to molest your life. I use the very serious and sensitive word, molest your life. You are being molested by demons because of ignorance. When you are ignorant, you will be sleeping when your life is being taken away from you and you will not know that your life is being taken away from you. 
you will be what? You will be sleeping. You will be eating. You will be normal when they are taking away your life from you. Can I tell you, some of you, the trouble you are going through, they did it in your life when you were five years. You were already living under a spell. If ignorance is there, in some instances you may know that your life is being taken away from you, but you will not know what to do to protect yourself. A plaque of ignorance make a man helpless. Ignorance is dangerous to the point that you may know that you are dying, but you will not know how to save yourself, how not to die. Why? Because the God of this world has blinded their eyes. Ignorance is blindness in the spirit. Let us go to the book of Ephesians 4, 17 to 18. This is the gate number one that is used by demons to do what? To oppress your life. Let's go. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart so which means people of God there is what we call life of God treasure of God that is available for everyone but because your mind is in the vanity you are walking as Gentiles are walking this is why the treasures that are belonging to you cannot be accessed listen to me ignorance make you to live in poverty where else your father is a billionaire. A prodigal son. When life was tough. There was awareness that came. Because he was not ignorant. He said in my father's house. There are many servants. Listen to me. You are suffering today. When he says silver and gold belongs to me. Because you are walking in the way of Gentiles. The way that is darkened. And the way that the prince of this world has blinded many. Let's go to the same verse. This I say and testify to the Lord. That ye henceforth walk not as Gentiles walk. In the vanity of their mind. You may be a Christian. But finding you are walking in the walk of Gentiles, in the vanity of your mind. This is why when you get born again, God is saying you must be transformed with the renewal of the mind. Because if your mind is not renewed, the access of treasure in the kingdom of God, you will not be able to access it. By his stripes you are healed. But if you are ignorant, your mind is not renewed, you will remain sick where else you are healed by his stripes. So the demon will use your ignorance to oppress you. The vanity of the mind of the Gentiles says, as you grow, you get sick. As you grow, you will die. If you as a child of God, you are still in that kind of mind. As you grow, you will get sick. As you grow, you will die. Having understanding darkened. So, which means, if the mind is in vanity as giant, your understanding gets darkened. 
the bible can be in your hand but finding that the understanding is darkened because ignorance is doing that and being eliminated from the life of god through the ignorance so you are taken away from the life of god through the ignorance that is in you we speak of immortality you are taken away because of what ignorance and when this life you are taken away from it the enemy the devil the demon they use that gate to oppress you how many promises of god are there for your life i'm not poor but i'm rich i'm not too, i'm not you, you understand let the sick say i'm healed let the poor say i'm rich why can it manifest in your life let's go to the last part go to the last part and it says Ali Nated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. So, which means a heart can be blinded. A heart can be what? In the kingdom of God, there is a commonwealth. There are promises that are given by God. He who promises and never lies. But if you are walking in ignorance, you will not be able to access this commonwealth. You need to manifest the power of God in this generation. Listen, you end up being a victim going to hospitals for mental health because your understanding is darkened. This is what who is darkening the hearts of men. Let's go to second second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. Let's see who is this entity that is darkening the hearts of men. But if our gospel be hid, and it is hid to them that are lost in whom God of this world has blinded their minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is image of God shall shine unto them the God of this world is blinding their what? their hearts you can only change something about you when your understanding goes to a dimension where God wants it to be. Listen. The greatest problem in this world is a blindness that the God of this world has given to mankind. There is blindness. This is why we say consecrate yourself. This is why we talk about consecration. The more you become consecrated, the more you live a life of consecration, your eyes of the spirit are opening. Mark my words. I have time where I can consecrate myself. I could tell those things that will happen. How did I know? I travel time. I travel moments. Even if it can be five minutes from here. I traveled. Because my eye are open. By then I'm on my time of consecration. The more you are consecrated. The more the blindness goes away. The more ignorance fades away in your life. make you a victim of the devil of demons hahona batu ba ignorant yolo ka batu ba tu mela ng deliverance can i tell you the cure to 
ignorance. It's in the book of Proverbs. By truth, sell it not. Make sure you go everywhere, every extent to buy the truth. The more you know the truth, the more you get into the truth, the more you find yourself that the that door that the enemy was using is being shut. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. People of God, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. The Bible says, The natural man receive not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Neither he can know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Some of the things we are talking about, they don't need your mind. They need to be spiritually discerned. When I tell you that, the more you hear the word, the more you read the word, the life of Christ comes in you. There is no way that the death can come in that body. If you think it with your mind, you will not see it. But if you discern it in the spirit, this is why the Bible says, the carnally minded, it's death. Carnality in your life it's what causes death in your life unforgiveness is calamity For offense is carnality slanderous remarks can gossip making lie whatever listen to me i was telling one person i said one of the things I learned from Prophet T.B. Joshua, it's a message of love. But I am so surprised that we who call ourselves Joshua generations are the same people who don't love one another. We are unforgiving. We are bitter. We, want to, we are competing. We try to show that I am more better than this. People, we are in a canal. And the more we are like death, we are death. Even if we can speak words of life, those words of life are becoming death. So, these things are spiritually discerned. Don't, listen, this is why I was telling other people, I say, if you want to ascend with your mind, you will remain looking at us when we ascend. Some of us, we ascend when we are standing like this. It's not because we are down there rolling. That's when we are ascending. Some of us, as we are standing like this, praying, we are already up there. When I was in the chapel, I said, Keep well with the elders. I said, Keep well with the prophets. I said, Keep The gate that you use by demon to oppress your life, it's a gate of fear. Gate of what? Fear. Fear is one of the natural things that a human being or a man or a person picks up in addition to hunger when he's born. We put in addition to, to hunger, fear comes. Why? Because fear came because of the fall of man. When Adam fell, he became afraid. The sign that you have fell, it's fear. This is why the Bible says, we are not given the spirit of fear, but we are given spirit of boldness and the sound mind. The life of Christ, which is immortality, because they fear if they can die. The people will laugh at them. Fear. So, when the enemy comes to you, he looks where is fear. If that 
fear it's not replaced by faith and boldness he will come inside he uses the gate to molest your life demons they use fear mamel motemo lemong a improving fear more than faith around him knows that he's a product of demon ke lai ba kile mohutu a hao nka promote go lentshabe ho feta ho ba le tumelo ho mudimo then let's go second ala moya wa satan any time there is fear demon will operate demon will operate demon will oppress let's go to the book of hebrews chapter number 2 verse 14 to 15 let's go there for as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death he might destroy him that had power of death that is the devil and deliver them who through fear of death were all lifetime subject to bondage even fear in death it's demonic do you get what i'm saying so christ had to deliver us that we who had the fear of death because the fear on its own put you in bondage anything you fear becomes your god how can i not doubt yeah ha ho na bo daniel ba ka ya ngo yona ba re ka ba kala consecration ya ka i close and tame to your mouth ho lo mathuwa ke re ha o ka ke na no ya tlhatha metsi mo ha ke bo ka copa copa go re ha o na tla go pula gore go tla hata o dima di noa le di pepe no ho no bua ka di noa tsa bo spiritual wa bona bo demonic jwaal wa bona ya bo leviathan wa bona and a leviathan are you aware an animal that is still alive it's under the sea it's under ocean god killed one and left one according to the bible honso na le one leviathan ha e ka phahama le tlo re ke tsunami just because how it's a leviathan ke ya magahlano le moya wa leviathan ha e ka hla ka pela ha o leviathan oh fear say fear people of god you become a in bondage because of fear anything you fear more than god it's your god the way it's haban li li fuka te ho ha o ka bona sthunya su supile hloye o loko la nthongwe le nngwe mmele mmane e ya tswa o le bala lo re no weapon fashioned against you that can prosper can prosper mamela gospel has se papa di man bibeli this thing it's a life giving spirit so demon they oppress you because of fear nakia tsaba baba mbalona you can't even reach your destiny some of you know jenana you when god looks at you what's about kine ke jwetsa batho one thing i am afraid of in heaven you know in heaven this court wabona ntheke tshaba ngi one fe ke ha hore hanka fihla court ya lohodim e be ke bontshuwa hore this is what you were supposed to be and er how we pull our hand wa o bo mpontsho re ha wa mo mamela ga bo tenza tsileleng ha na re tshe ha wa mo mamela mama ha na re tshe it was a way for your greatness mara you were ignorant mama i'm not 
ta frère tu regardes la vidéo à qui on en a l'intérêt à refuser le dimanche quand on a les 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 movies au club on va pas parler à qui n'a pas regardé l'intérêt c'est que l'on dit ça il soit c'est qui dit n'est ma quête à bas n'a lié n'a y a horé et choué que ça faut le fil à une tenue qui est la mienne qui faut le fil à le fatigue qu'à bas qu'à l'aubane qui est à bas ou pas tout à l'arrêt à qui c'est l'encontre à qui remba zalouan I'm afraid of that. You only become a slave of what you fear. What's wrong? Le hamu tua ka utsebela. Haba lenta utsebela nyona. How a papa? Haba sare hey. Haba sare what? Get la wuantere yenze mauban. And how to be our kidnapped? It will not. It will not be. It will not be. The moment you come to the so any time, how much I can be in touch with the Lord? Abba, Pahama, Mama, how can I tell you about the things that I did not talk about? Abba, we are not going to win. But no, they are nothing. They have nothing to prove. But how to be kidnapped? Because. The enemy uses what fear. Fear is a gate of demonic oppression. Kisaba ba pregnant e hanka shwela beting haki pepa. Seke pa there are those kind of people and most of them they die when they are arriving to labor road. Kisaba, kisaba pinyen, huh? Jeremy Mudi Mukarwe, unzo tava. Omo tava, omo sadwa media ni man. Bebeleri, ba sadwa mina ba na ba ipepisa. The way ba na ba na matakate. Wena wai papa wai ipepisa. Ai akadi ahanda ai. Le mama tiba zaloi. Are number three, disobedience. The gate of disobedience give demon. Access to your life. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Let's go to Ephesians chapter two, verse one to two. And you have quickened who were dead in trespass and sin. Where in in time past walk according to course of this world, according to the prince of the power of air, and that is not now working in the children of disobedience. So, which means there is a law that works in the children of this world, which is a law of disobedience that comes from the prince of the power of air. of God. Many people are not aware that when you walk in disobedience, this is a complex demonic intelligence. Satan will not appear with horns and say disobey God, but Satan will look at the last you have. If it's a last of money, if it's a last of good life, last of the flesh, he will go and entice that last for you to disobey God. And when you continue to disobey God, he knows that you cannot stand against him. No child of disobedience can be given right to stand against the devil. Death came in this world because of disobedience. Listen, Adam was not created by God to die. He was immortal, but and given the right to dominate Kariatos, dominate. He was a dominion over the earth. But Adam gave his scepter of dominion to the devil the day he disobeyed God. 
This is why devil when he appears to Jesus, he says, I will give you the wealth of this world because uh, this thing I give to everyone, I'm the prince of this world. Satan was not supposed to tell the devil that I have taken your authority. The devil was aware that because I'm became disobedient, my authority is taken away. Your authority against devil will be taken away by your disobedience. Just because you like a good life, you can't be patient when things are not going well. You better say, I'd rather go and sleep with the manager so that I can be able to get a job. At least the devil has enticed your last. In any purpose, a mutimo or Udule Quadqua for the next two years or a fella at the Atiba who consecrate Maracaba Calabane, Ufila, Uyahula, Satan, Ukota, Kenya, last year, Mosebe, Otola Mosebe, Tikai, Kai Houting. Once you fit the mono Calau Majuala, was at the bit to a kind trail, Satan has cash on you. The problem of blindness. It's because you don't know where you are and you don't know where you are going. This is the problem of blindness of the spirit. There are people who are kept by God in this environment for now just to make them to avert danger. Once danger is away, the Lord will open door for him. But the problem is, you want to even open doors for yourselves because of the last. Let me tell you, one day, Abraham and Lord, they were together. And God said, you must separate. Then Abraham said, Lord, my brother, choose first where you want to go. And then, Lord, because of the last, he chose Sodom and Gomorrah. But he didn't say in future that this will be burnt by fire. But Adam took another way. But that way that Adam took, because he had power in his priesthood even when Sodom and Gomorrah were supposed to be destroyed. He's the one who is negotiating for, for Lord. This is a tree of good and evil. There is a good that you see coming to your life but when you look deep in it there is an evil that is going to manifest. The way of a man seems right before his eyes but the end thereof it's destruction when disobedience come to you my son Satan wants to damage the potency of your priesthood devil wants to put a stain on the garment of your priesthood Demons, they use disobedience. Like, listen to me. When you are disobedient, you become vulnerable. But when you walk in obedience, you become mortified. You become a tree, like a tree of cedar. It's a fat as a kedar. For you to stand on the Mount Hill of God, for you to shut down the door of demonic oppression, walk in obedience. Go, don't ask. Don't tell him about how she bella. Joseph for five minutes. You can one I can't get what you. Hi, but when you are going to go, I am going Joseph, but then you are to be able to say. Walk in disobedience. You cannot stand the prince in your family. There is a prince that is arresting your family. There is a power that is arresting your family. For you to defeat this power, you need to walk. A walk of, of obedience. As long as you disobey Yamudim, oppression, the molesting, Yamatimon, it would do like a way. The Bob one ban like a kibasati. 
the work of disobedience. It's a man. This is the power that is waking in the children of disobedience. Devil knows as long as you disobey God, you can try hard no matter how much you try. You will never prosper in life. My man, prosperity it's based on two principles. It's either you walk in obedience with God or you walk in obedience with the powers of darkness. Which one you like? The one that I want is one of the Lord because the blessing of the Lord at no sorrow. No matter how much how much Satan I say ah ankile, you still have a chance. Yeah, you can reverse. Ntotse na kidi bwa ni kupoka, kibwa bwa ni kero huena. Sheba kuti eka pela bo pelo ba. Mshima nuzo shebela pornography. Watu 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 mo. Ntotse zalangore. Mama ti an ablesi anatami ya abule he. Aita vang. Akwale. How can I unlock all the prosperity? Obana mona roba la lue na toro. Obana roba la lumsa di toro. Oike intema. Dilia ni yetava. Ya kanseli. People of God, take it seven kora satano. O aware for disobedience imu yenze inglo hodimo. So he wants that to happen to you. He knows that you are carrying power. You are carrying everything. Everything you will look on to succeed, it's inside of you. Mara, for him to keep it dormant, Korfela, I increase fella disobedience in your system. So a door of disobedience opens for demonic oppression. Your mutability is tied in your obedience, and your vulnerability is tied in your disobedience. So find anyone who is vulnerable today. When you look at their lives, they are walking the life of disobedience. But find a man who is like a tree of cedar, a strong, a fortress. He walks in the life of obedience. Number four, which is a gate. It's what we call willful desire. Let's go to the book of James. James chapter 1 verse 14 to 15. Will follow what desire, but every man is tempted when he's driven away by his own lust and enticed. Then the lust has conceived, it bringeth back sin, and sin, when it has finished, bringeth back forth death. But what I'm saying, you are tempted by what by your own lust when it is enticed. There is a last in you that Satan uses for you to fall. We call it the willful desire. Baba mbalo na bo brada halewe kapa hale hale juole just because how na chelet mosha ngu kaban liona utlo ba chincha baba sesha le baba tala hetla kala uba bona kawe uba ne kahare hu ena kamona ona le takato ye. I'm telling you, your last will be seen. Then I tell you, what's your salary? No, I saw your salary. Ah, ah. I'm telling you, salary. 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 Mamel, hoja Joseph Faro bala le msaidu wa Faro. Inkebe ibi le head boy yadi yadi ben ten eta msaidu wa Faro. Mara Joseph Faro kabaka lawe destiny ya hii nelo ba prime minister. Aijua eta haki tuko bala le msaidu na Faro. Na hana. Mamel la bazaloa. What is your willful? Baba mbaluna li kente kara demonic oppression kabaka lanto we rata. Satan hata uwe na hatu takang. Kama naka. Kujweta neti. Hatu takang. 
kama naka not everyone is forced to bondage some people went willingly to be bound some people journeyed willingly to death it's not everyone is forced to that so willful desire hona le mthwena e1 yo utlwang go wa elakatsa ke batla ho ba bontsha ntho yeo go jwetsa net ke yona phokujwe yo satana tlo e sebedisa ho tleta bible says little fox they destroy the vineyard that little thing yeo yo you cry yo ntso we sab hona le letsatsi mo itletsa ba itloja lastly number 5 the gate of demonic of its covenant oaths and agreements e ke le bolela mbana ba ka bona le ntheke ba tla one tsibisa yona ka shekutse nako ye nwe mamati ya matimo na maphelo a hao a yentse ke di covenant tse o di yentse ko hona le style sena sa nonson so sa bana na le ba shanyana ba gatana no jenana ba utla fumana ba se banka dintho tsa bo tsa bo tsa bo tsa 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 bo tsa nka phini a itheye monana a mo fa re leka le ana etse jwa la leka eh you will be mine forever ba ye tsa bana ba lona behind your backs ha ba se ba tawwe ke le gato ntetsa go awe ke le gato go bana ha ona le gato ka pelong ya hao ha o ka ba le le gato la o ka thola le gato la motho emong ha le no taya so nzo o tawue o dredi ya ke ha o ga botengwe di tsebella ka nthotse o nana ga ntse ke dile ba ga batho every sunday mo ha ke tsebe di nthotse etsa la maphelong a bona di soul tie hona le batho ba reng ha o robala le bona sexually emmi person every man every woman you sleep with you are making covenant with skana na ko ntsa fela discharge ya male lufila eh nice in the body it's a covenant mama tya matimo na ma a itsa itse mama you can hide or you can protect yourself against sexually transmitted diseases but you cannot protect yourself against sexually transmitted demons hona le matimona o kena ngwona o so nyalwe lo nyalwa so matam that's why rena le ntotse re bitsa ndi soul tie ba mba lona le distowe ke le soul tie ho phela bo Steve ho phela bo John ho fete ho phela bo bo bontho bo Timothy ho phela bo Emmanuel ho phela bo manka re ka go re ho phela na hana ha e ba ntho John a go betse le meri a go bala le mata a go bala le 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 ntho ke chain John ka re o yena o na le mata le 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 meri le mang ka ga mata o na go betse le 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 mpendulo le mang le mang so ka ga mata o na le mpendulo tswa John o tla go wena o kenya ntwena ha e ka ofe because how na ntwe ba itsebang e bitswang spiritual cleansing ha ba itsebe this is why ha re le nyadisa mona re le fa le communion because ga tseba go le aphela ke re le aphela bo lo ba lo ha ga ba tlwetsa phoso le tsa ba ya le aphela le fa tsema ba ba lona le tlama etse mogena jesu se le phetse bana ba ka ka ne to wa mhetse jesu so entse ba uso pete covenant the oath ntsepise o tla nyala ke a o tsepisa ke tlo nyala wa tse o ibua fela it's an oath how so say it's a door for demon to oppress your life 
Pamba luna lenze di covenant li di evil spirit for the sake ya robele chalet. In the past mona na mraonyan, hono so na li di video tse trendang. Zaba shima ni ba na ba khanan di kolo yi tente. Mara ufuma na ba siba tsama jolo ka di nuwa. Kiti wila di hopo la di nto tse wazene ni trend. Kupa ni ba na wealth ya bo na hona li moba yi nze covenant ting. Shale kana kongwe kaba kalaban. De mama ila. How yet a covenant ili satan. Satan ika sheko. Aka ubatla hoho. Hosa no klo ubatla nja. Hosa no klo ubatla homu. Hufishela ubatla mao. Wakiti po mame chakim. Na hana sa ubatla mwana hao. Mwana hao ayu wani fel. Hoba no tamia we say vision. How hana he's gonna deal with you. Kapot eya. Kata majolo kanu waka pela batu. Ota maa kaka ka, ntoka kului hadi yoko ule kana. Yali bidi la 44,000. Ota maa ye monu, ota maa, ota maa. Hao, 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 hey. Weta langkani. Hey. Hakitiba, hakitiba, weta iti nkani. Covenant. This covenant and oaths and agreements you make. Mama, pelo kata covenant tele manka pa mama. Be careful. Be careful. L- listen. To prosper in life, you still need covenant. But also to fail in life, it's also covenant. The oath is the same. If you say, Mama, you have a court, you have to take an oath, and then you have to break an oath, you have to commit a crime. You have to break an oath. So, oaths also are the doors Satan uses or demon uses to oppress your life. God bless you, sweet. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Peace.